My dad taught me lots about life and the things that really matter. Today's video is all about that and I want to share some of the life lessons that I learned from him with you. You may find that some of these resonate with you as well. Let me know in the comments. Hi, I'm Nicola from Moving Memories, a small business creating life story videos so that stories and memories are not forgotten. I started this channel to help people with some tips, ideas and inspiration on how you can get started on creating your own video stories. If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that my dad was the big inspiration behind starting uh, Saving Family Memories. Sadly, we left it too late to save his story, but by sharing these life lessons that I've learned from him, I think they are a big part of his story and who he was, so I'm really glad to be able to share these with you. Maybe you also have a loved one whose story you didn't manage to save, so by recording these gifts of wisdom from them, you're keeping a little bit of their story alive. Lesson number one, life is for living. This was something that he really believed in. He lived life enthusiastically and he taught us to do the same. He would say things like, any day above ground is a good one. And he'd often be the last one to leave at a party, even in his seventies. Uh, he loved life and all that it offered. Lesson number two, be kind. Kindness shone from his face. He was one of the kindest people I've ever known. In his later years, when he was very sick, he always managed to find some kindness to share with another human being, even when he wasn't able to communicate that. His kindness just shone out through his eyes. Um, we in fact played Try a Little Kindness from Glen Campbell at his funeral because it was just perfect for the kind, gentle man that he was and I'm so grateful to have learned the lesson of kindness from him. Lesson number three, be grateful, especially for your family. He loved his family. His family were his everything. And he taught us to be grateful for the fact that we were always able to share um, family love together. We went on family holidays and had lots of gatherings throughout the year for birthdays and holidays, etc. He would often say that he was very lucky that his family did this because a lot of his friends had lost touch with their children and other members of their families. So it was something he, he treasured and I'm truly grateful for that connection that we have still as a family. Gratitude in general is an important part of my life. I work on gratitude daily and in fact gratitude can make you more resilient and it creates dopamine which is the happiness hormone. So Gratitude is the attitude. Thanks for that one, Dad. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and do all those things. It really helps keep the channel going. Lesson number four, have fun. Man, he knew how to have fun. <laughs> it was something he was really good at. And this life lesson should not be underestimated. He could make anything fun, from doing the dishes, to dressing up for a fancy dress party, being the first one up to the microphone for karaoke. Life was fun to him, and it's something that I'm continually working on um, to make my life more fun. I try to inject a bit of fun every day. Lesson number five, he'll love this one if he's listening, eat the pie, especially if it's mince and cheese. Dad loved all food, particularly pies, they were his favorite. And he would encourage us to just, you know, enjoy food. Sometimes we deprive ourselves of, of things like pies and cakes and chocolate, but I think it's okay, in moderation, and so did he. So I encourage you to eat the pie, life's too short. Lesson number six, what's most important in life? The people that we love. He loved people and people loved him. And it's a lesson that we have all learned for sure over the last two or three years with the COVID-19 pandemic. So that's a lesson that I think I'll always carry with me and many of you will as well, I'm sure, have learned that lesson during the last wee while. Lesson number seven, help others when you can. He always taught me and my sisters to help others whenever we could, whether that's in the community or in the family or friends circle that you're in. And he certainly did his fair share of helping others. So even if you get nothing in return, helping others is a wonderful lesson to have learned and one that I will definitely be passing on to my daughter. Lesson number eight, listen to your heart. 
when any one of us was in a situation that we were unhappy in, Dad would always say, listen to your heart, do what you feel is right, do what your heart tells you to do. And that's a great lesson to learn. And thanks to learning that lesson, I am now following my heart. Doing this particular job is the best decision I've ever made, helping people save their memories so that they're not lost or forgotten. And it's really down to Dad that I'm doing this. So thanks, Dad. Lesson number nine, enjoy simple pleasures. This may sound a little bit cliche, but it's so true. Uh, it's a lesson that we learned through many, many things that Dad did. He would have such great pleasure from sitting with a cold beer at the end of the day, sitting with the cat on his lap reading a book, sharing time with his grandkids. Didn't really need to have, you know, the big flash car or the big flash house. He was so happy just with simple pleasures. And I'm with him on that. I don't need to be on a super yacht drinking champagne. I'm quite happy with my good old Kiwi Sauvignon Blanc sitting in the garden with my family around me. Simple pleasures and simple things create a happy life. Lesson number 10, love deeply. Dad's love was deep and strong. He taught us to do the same. His love continues to surround our family even now after he's passed. And he was never afraid to show his love. I'm so grateful for that, Dad. He really understood the power of love and he taught my sisters and I how to love deeply. So do you have lessons that you've learned from someone you love, perhaps that's still living now or someone who's passed, that you would like to share? Include them in your story or in their story when you share their story on video. It's so important that we acknowledge the lessons that we've learned from our loved ones so that it gets passed on for future generations. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please click the thumbs up and like it, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. You'll also find in the description below some uh, information about the video memoir services that I offer in my Moving Memories business, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.